Yo, yo. Nah, I'm going. Yo. All right, what it do? What's up, fam? Hey, what's up, butter? What's up, bro, bro? What's man, good with you, man? Hey, ain't nothing, man. Y'all know, uh, y'all know I'm here, and I'm always gonna bring brass tax. Uh, so let me go ahead and chime in real quick. Um, in reference to uh, uh, what we need to do as black men. All right, here's number one. Uh, black men, black men. That's a title, and that has to be earned. All right. It's not a lot of black men out here. It's a lot of black males. <laughs> All right, a black man That's is true. different from a black male. A black man studies. A black man knows his environment. A black man knows who he is in this environment. A black man is a student of history and other black scholars. So, when a black man is behaving, when a black man speaks and behaves, it's in a manner of black manhood. So any opposition to black manhood, he's going to call out and he's going to confront. So homosexuality, he's going to call out and he's going to confront. Black male unsexual discipline, he's going to call out and he's going to confront. Black female, not black women, black female unsexual discipline and treacherous behavior by way of white feminism, which is fucking white supremacy, he's going to call out. Black men have to stand up, never fear death, because death is freedom, check all oppositions. Number one, you fucking crackers. Not all white people, just the crackers. All right? And then the shit is going to roll downhill. But we got the job first. So, number one... If a black man is not learning something every day constructive, then he ain't no black man. He, that's a black male. If he ain't learning the system that is in opposition to him, which is white supremacy, if he ain't learning how it's working against him in education, entertainment, economics, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war, as Neely Fuller, Washington, D.C. native, has taught us, then he's he's lost. He's basically gonna be a victim. He's gonna be a victim of these crackers in their prisons or or the squad car or the bullet or one of these ratchet ass black females, not black women, black females, he's gonna be a victim of them by using his little head and not his big head. Yeah. I agree with everything you said. Yep. And I, I don't have a problem calling a motherfucker out. Yeah, but me, I look at it a little bit different. Like, I mean, I, I be worried about uh, about the black males, the ones who don't get it, and they just don't get it. I be more focused on the kids. The kids, the ones they mind fucking. Us men, we know not to go fucking up, man. Our kids don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Our kids don't know saying that girl kissed that girl on that TV. That's not right. Your little six year old, seven year old, five year old daughter don't know that. Your five, six, seven year old son don't know that. Oh, just be happy and free. They did it. Lucy, little Nas. Nah, he just took the boy and just kissed him right in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Megan Stallion. She twerked that right. ass and kissed that boy straight in the mouth. That's all they see, bro. And that's what they look up to because that's all they play on the radio. Let me ask you a question, buddy. Uh-huh. Whose responsibility is it for uh, uh, whose responsibility is it for our children to know the difference between opposition, warfare, and how to actually move and behave? Whose responsibility is that? It's black men. No, nah, it's black us. Black men. Yeah, us. Black men. I raised my hand our, on our, that one. Listen, our females, check this. Black, the black woman is the first teacher of the child. After the child, when the child reaches adolescence, then it's all on the black man. So if the child doesn't have a black man, but a black male, then the child is just sabotaged. It's basically going to be a joke. The ch child is going to be confused. The child is going to go left, right, up, down, whatever. You see what I'm saying? The woman is the first teacher. But her job as a teacher... Uh, to get them to a certain it, point. It end, but it takes a back seat when that child yeah. reaches adolescence. You see what yeah, I'm saying? So if crackers, are, if crackers are using B 
BET, which is not black owned, some of Red, some of Redstone owns that shit, been owning that shit for ten years. Long if practice are putting homosexuality, low key pedophilia, uh, ratchet behavior on BET, if a black man has a child, hit, that black man ain't even gonna allow his child to watch that shit. Oh, and if the child care. watches it, the black man is going to let the child know and understand how to decipher it as yeah. this is opposite. And I'm yeah, not, right. and I'm not going to I'm going to push yeah. back on this. You see what I'm saying? Hey, hey, no, no, but you keep using black man. Your parent can do that, bro. Nah, but I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Your fucking parents can do that, bro. I don't understand what y'all saying. Y'all keep saying I'm going to give, give you an example, buddy. I just went to New York with my son, right? I went to New York with my son. We walking down the street. We see he mm. see he sees the man slumped over. I said, "Son, do you, you see that right there? This that that's what you that's what happens when you on drugs. That's what happens when you abuse drugs or you 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 try drugs that you shouldn't try. You could end up like that. You know what I'm saying? Versus, I could have just walked by him and been like, "Yo, you know what I mean? My son just because he was looking at him like, why is this nigga linked over, touching his toes in the middle of the street? Everybody just walking by him." Like he don't have a care in the world, so I had to, and I saw him looking, so I had to make sure I I I, I talked to him about that because I had to explain to him why that man is just standing there looking crazy in the middle of the street. So that's what he's speaking on, basically. No, no, but that's the same thing a parent would do. You're not doing that, that's not doing nothing that a regular parent wouldn't do, though. But no, it's like you said, we're talking about buddy. We're talking about the yeah, because y'all keep saying black man, black man, per, uh, black per, man per, or black woman. Uh, uh, the parents are, uh, uh, are two. Black man, black woman. But like he said, once a child reaches adolescence, the man has to step up. We have to step up and and take the lead. Like they, like your, like the mother teach you how to wipe your ass, how to, you know, what I'm saying, how to brush your teeth, how to clean up, just, just, you know, just regular manners and shit like that. A man's gonna supposed to teach you about life and explain shit through, you know what I mean, through our lens, especially a black man's lens, because our lens is different from anybody else's. I mean, we still black gonna teach them. Teach we still gonna survive. teach them the others though, too. A black man is gonna teach you how to survive yeah. and navigate and oppose your opposition. That's the black yeah. man. You don't like, like, like I said, if I didn't say nothing, if I didn't say shit, he would have just been like. That nigga's just slumped over in the middle of the street, just looking dumb. But nah, I'm like, no, nah, that's drugs, son. That's what happens when you do drugs. You might end up like that. Stay away from drugs, son. Yeah. Hey, I get what y'all saying, but y'all don't understand what I'm saying. I, I get what y'all saying, but man, because it is on us. Like you said, at a certain point, it's on us. We gotta take. We gotta do. You basically saying you don't. You don't get why they saying black man. Yeah. Throw me all the way off. But he said because once they be once they be adolescents, the man has to take a bigger role. That's why most men not even in their kids' lives though, black man. But like you said, <laughs> even even like you said, you you a man, you a black man. So like you said, when you see the kid, you be a man and step up and fill that role. You just said you do that. So come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on. That was a, that was the same example that you used. You said when you see the kid, you make sure you say something to him. That's the same thing. You don't I let your kid. No, I said your kid is being a parent. I said a regular parent can see that guy out there on the street and say the same shit that you said to your kid. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about your example. I'm talking about your example of speaking to the kids that you used earlier. About you talking to the kids and trying to encourage them. That's the same thing what we're saying. Encourage them about what? Whatever. Get, go to school. You know what I'm saying? Treat treat your right, women right. right. Whatever the case, whatever it is at the time. What's throwing me off of y'all just saying black man? That's all it is. Because I think all no, parents... No, the, the reason why I'm saying black... The reason why I'm saying black man... Yeah, is because, because, he's all care, because, because all I care about... Because, because all I care about is, is black people. I don't care yeah, about nobody. I about no other I race. I feel you. That's my thing. Not saying I hate any other race. I'm saying I care about my people. If my house burning down, I don't give a fuck about my neighbor's yard. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, she said. She said, my son's father 
never was in my son's life, and he's a great man. I mean, yeah, because you know. can't never say all. We're not saying all. We saying the. Well, I, mean, I know the stats. I, I know the stats. Here's the stats right now, as of 2021. 2021, we got approximately 72 percent of black females without the black male that impregnated you. And that's by design. And to be honest, a black female with a single mother, that's her fault. Because she opened her legs for a black male and not a black man. She 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 opened her legs without a ring. That's number one. And she opened her legs without vetting the man. You see what I'm saying? So that's her fault <clears throat> for opening that's her legs. Because I a say. woman, uh, it takes nine months, approximately ten, to have a child. A woman, yeah. that's a decision. That's what I the say. Abortion rates ain't no joke. They abort kids all the time. So when they bring a child into this world, they did that for a purpose. So they had the choice of not to do that. They had the choice of not to open their legs. So that's their responsibility. I, I got a question for you. I, I agree with that. I'm, I'm, hold on. Let me just say this, brother. Let me say this. No, no, no. no, no, no. I don't even want you to finish before I say this. Do, oh, do, do, do you get a choice to wear a condom on that? Do you get a choice to wear a condom on that, though? Say it again. Do a male has an option to wear a condom on that? I was. That's what I'm going to get on. Our responsibility. Black yes. men have to teach and basically either shame or ostracize black males into not engaging in un, un, undisciplined sexual behavior. You don't sleep with no woman that you ain't trying to marry or protect and provide for. If you do that, you will lose her. You see what I'm saying? That's, That's our, what I our saying. responsibility is to value yeah, our I agree, I agree with him. You see I agree saying? with that we shit. We have that responsibility, buddy. We can't be letting these dudes run around here bragging about having sex with a bunch of females and they can't do nothing for them. You see what I'm saying? We got to shame them. Yeah, so I agree that. with that. That's our responsibility, brother. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, no, no, I agree with that. No, no, I agree with that. I yeah. definitely agree with that, bro. Yeah. If you ain't being a father, then yeah. But who gonna say that to a dude who ain't being a father? I say that to all, all my. I don't listen. Yeah. I got maybe four men who are. Uh, damn it, I got four dudes I know. Sandbox that are quote unquote deadbeats. Man, they don't even come around me. Yeah, I'm me too. Me. Yeah, I'm going too. on a butter. butter. Yeah. butter. I'm going on a butter. That's what I told Tyler T. You're not even going to come around me because I'm going to flame you up too. I'm going to make you feel... You're not even going to be around me, eh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. me? I got a lot of kids. I only worry about taking care of mine. Respect. I got seven kids, bro. I can only worry about mine. I don't give a fuck what you do for yours. That's your business. Hey, but if hey, I worry hey, about hey. you, and no, no, guess what? Because if I worry about you taking care of your kids, I'm going to miss uh, uh, one of these meals for these seven I got feed. You feel what I'm saying? I can't worry about nobody else's business, bro. Us as black well, men, we can stop worrying about it. Yeah, we're not going to worry, but you got to speak on it. You got to you gotta speak on what you see. You got, you got, like no, no, you no, said, no, you got to. No, 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 that's facts. But people sometimes might say it at the wrong time or, or use it as a, as a card it's against that person. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't good first. I'm glad that I am. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not good first, bro. Like, like you said, you, said, you won't even be in my circle most being a bad parent. Most of them should have wore, wore condom. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I was trying to say. She got an option to open her legs, and you got an option to wear condom. You right. That's what I'm saying. But are we saying the same thing? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we don't have to, you don't have to necessarily worry about, but it's ours. Right, look, put it like this, brother. We are an ecosystem. Whether you know it or not, what I do affects you. Whether you know it or not, either directly or indirectly. You see yeah, what I'm saying? That's true. So if I'm not checking black males, yeah. right, then they're going to continue their dysfunction. When you listen, black men have checked me when I was acting like a black male. That's why I don't act like a black male no more. You yeah, see what I'm saying? I, agree. I was getting checked. And then not only was I getting checked, I was getting in trouble, going to jail, all types of wild shit. So life checked my ass. But number one, a black man had, well, my father was checking me. You see what I'm saying? And then my uncles. And then black men in the neighborhood. But the black males, they'll just, they ain't gonna say shit. A black male will encourage you to do some dumb shit that'll fuck your whole life up. Mm-hmm. That's even true.
Hey, Tay Tay, so you got- do, you, do you have any kids? No, because she said as well. I said no cookies until I get married. So who got any kids, see more? No, I was yeah, talking about Tay 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 Chong. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be that's a good question too, because I want to see what she said to that. I, yeah, I definitely well, got a response. He's asked her, Did she have any kids? Because I heard he said she said that she's not giving no cookies until she's married. So he asked her, Does she have any kids? Yeah. If you if you do, uh what you holding back for? You know what I'm saying? She's trying to take your wedding, sound like I mean uh, it's a little bit too late for that if you got kids. You can't go back. So. You can't. You can't. You can't go back to being a virgin. Nah, she got two kids. Uh, one thirteen, so one twenty one. She ain't giving no more cookies until she married. I respect that. She tried to change her ways. She I, see the error in her ways. I mean, I can. I can respect you making me wait, but not not all the way to the altar to to the no, church nah, before fast. I get before I get to see what it do. That's a lot. Now I can do that for a virgin because you don't even mm-hmm. know what the fuck you got going on. But yeah, you might have find somebody got some kids. I don't. Know. I hey, mean, they're out here. They're out here. My man, I know this young right now. That's thirty five years old, virgin. Yeah, now, right. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. That's I swear. what she told you. Yeah. I swear that's she is. That's what she told you. That's, I'm like I said, that's one out of millions. You know what I'm saying I ain't say a, a whole group of them. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm asking you a question. That's what she told you. Of course, <laughs> of course, I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's all I can go off of. But no, 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 off- you know no, no, no. Because you got, I'm about to give you a little game though. You know, some women not talking about literally being virgins. They talk about born not, again virgins. No, no, no. That's why I don't believe I mean, in that. I don't believe in that. I don't believe uh-huh. they mean maybe mentally you can be born again and not not yeah, that's an make that pussy go that's back. An it, it, that's that's an hey it's more, made hey, more. Uh, uh Locks Goldie said, Are you a uh, are you a virgin, Baldy? <laughs> of course not. I got kids out here. And I don't make no excuses for, you know what I mean, my, my kids. It is what it is. I'm not I'm not saying yeah. I wanna be a I'm not saying I'm I'm selling it either. And I definitely yeah. wanna make sure my wife is what I'm what I'm looking for before I marry her. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, like I said, she can make me wait as long as she need me to wait before she feel comfortable. But to go all the way through the whole courting and th- all the way through the ceremony, I didn't bought rings, I didn't spend thousands of dollars, and then now I get to see. I might not even want the shit. <laughs> Parent. Now what? Can especially, I get a refund yeah, yeah, now? Especially when you already had kids. You know, you already had kids. Can I get a refund? Oh, 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 oh. So, 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 does that take the value down? I'm just asking the panel. Yeah, uh, does, does, it takes mine down, down too. Yeah, because it takes mine down does, too. What's your question, brother? Does the does a person with kids bring their value down? Yes, yeah, it does. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, listen, single. Listen, people with kids should only date people with kids. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean. Okay, no, well, why not? No, 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 And guess what? Probably my world is unrealistic. That's probably, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, it's hard for a person. Okay, say you got, all right, we, we just want to say, throw some numbers out there. Say you got three kids, fine. You know what I'm saying? We, we know you got zero kids. Say you got three kids, right? Mm-hmm. And you meet a woman that got three kids. You know how many kids that is? Six. That's six. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. That's what it's supposed to be. That's called being <laughs> equally yoked. Yeah. Yeah. What, Man, listen, 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 brother. But let me ask you a question, brother. What value am I with three kids to a woman with zero kids? What value am I? We're none all day. But they got all they keep their value, but we lose ours. We lose every no, it's the same thing for them. No, it's the same for them. I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm just saying, dude. A, the a way that female, you just, a female or male. Female saying, or male. No, no. no guess what? And it, no, no, and it depends on what you got. It what I got is what I got. But listen, mm-hmm. a female or male with no kids should be with a, uh, 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 the opposite with no kids. The, yeah. the purpose of being with a, the purpose of getting with the opposite sex is to create a lineage. Mm-hmm. You don't want to create a lineage with someone who already has a lineage. That's just that nature goes against that. 
Yeah, they might. Yeah, they fuck around, eat them kids in nature. It, that's what yeah, lions do. Got to go. Yeah, you got to go before I ain't fuck with your mother. She, yeah, they got to go. But like, like I was telling, I'm saying on the podcast yesterday. Even if both y'all do have kids and y'all coming into this situation, it's still. Uh, it's, still all, hard. You know, it's still it's hard. Still, it's still and that's hard. Our, but that's our fault for not being with the person we had the kids with. That's something we just got to deal with. Yeah. And I'm and I'm okay yeah. with that. I, I understand that. I'm not making no fucking excuses. It is what it is. Yeah, but guess what? Man, kids are a part of life. I, I don't want people to misrule and think like we're saying they mistakes. No, kids are a part of life. No, no, I, no I, didn't say, I didn't say that. I'm not insinuating that. I'm just saying. I, 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 my choice was, my initial choice was to be with his mother. It didn't work out. I, I wanted to be with her. That's why I decided to have a kid with her. I waited till 32. Okay. I, I could have had kids by a whole rack of girls before I met her. I chose her. I chose wrong. And I got to deal with the consequences of that. That's real man-ish right there. What he just said, that's real man-ish. Yeah. Okay, let me say this one last. Let me say this one. The only thing I don't like, I just don't look at it as consequences. I guess you're just dealing with your reality. Oh, what to say here? Yeah. Tomato, tomato, yeah. same shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, see, but well, see, but everything we do has a result. Yeah. Now, whether that result effect. is positive or negative, it has a result. So mm -hmm. if we, if we, when we're young, when we, if we, if we, when we, when we're young. We think with our little head and not our big head, and we have, you know, some kids with women that we don't want to marry, then that's the result. We got to deal with it. It's not yeah. the kid's fault, it's our fault. So yeah. let me say this last thing. In this book right here, Message to the Black Man by Elijah Muhammad, whatever you think about Elijah's regard, this is scientific. He said in this book, and he outlined it, this is it's how to me. It's three things that he said the Europeans will never teach us by oppressing us. It's the science of business and business science, the science of military, military science, and how to mate. It's a science to mating, okay? Because you mate with an objective to create a lineage. Yeah. Now, too many of us just mate for to fun. bust a nut. Yeah, for fun. And then when we bust a nut, and the woman says, well, I'm going to have a baby. Then we grow. But that's our fault. You see what I'm saying? But if we knew how to make, like Elijah Muhammad outlined and others, then we wouldn't even have done that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree with that. Hey, can I ask you a question? You, uh, 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 you read the uh, background on Elijah, the dude you just said, Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad and his background is regardless. Either what he said yeah. is fact or false. Yeah, exactly. Don't kill, don't, don't, kill the don't, don't kill the messenger and miss the message, uh, uh, butter. Listen to the message now. Oh, I can't ask a question? No, 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 no. I said, I said, I said, don't kill the messenger. Listen to the message. No, I'm not, no, 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 no. I just wanted to see if he followed this message. I just want to ask butter, you. Butter, 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 butter. No, you were talking about the messenger, though, and not the butter, message. Butter, butter, butter. Hold on, but let me address, let me ask, let me answer Butter's question. Yes, I know, I know the alleged allegations uh -huh. against Elijah. Yeah. Okay. That has okay. nothing to do with the science. Okay that he wrote down. Either what he wrote down is what? effective or it's not. Yeah, that's Practice what we preach, right? Practice what we preach, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. But at the end of the day, he's still a human. No, And none of us are perfect. Oh. Okay. But the message is still the message. That's true. Because the same thing, that's the same thing they said about Jesus. I just talking to Tyler about that. They asked, they asked the public, do you want to let this murdering nigga that is, they we know this nigga was but nigga Barabbas? They ask people, do you want to let Jesus go or do you want to let this nigga know we know he didn't kill people and did all kind of crazy shit? They chose to let the murderer go, even though they knew Jesus was out here healing people, doing miracles and all that. So what you what what makes you think that you know what I'm saying it's gonna be different from anybody else? And like I said with the quote with Malcolm X, the, with white supremacy, you can make a guilty man. Innocent and an innocent man guilty. With that, with that being said, bro, it's nothing we can do except for fucking leave. For real, for real, is get the fuck out of here and say, "Here, you can have that shit." 
Or, or, and we go back and control our shit. Get our shit together. Or, we go help develop Africa. Or we can. Uh, I'm with that. I'm a plan out for you. Or we because they owe us trillions of dollars. Or we can undermine every single aspect of this system and then force them to hey even smoke even smoke us all or pay us to get the fuck away from us. Oh, that's true too. Business. That's true too. But then that's going that take that's going to take for some people to have to dig out. We're going to have, somebody's going to have to go. We got a couple of us going to have to lay down for that. Oh, well, yeah. I'm well, well, yeah. But see, as you mean, yeah. you're, I'm a revolutionary. So I'm prepared to die. You but know most, what I'm saying? Most niggas don't know even know how to shoot a gun, let alone load it. Well, that's, a, that, well, that's, that's unfortunate. But there's a lot of revolutionaries that are. And that's what it's going to take because we, they're we prepared. never lie. That's why, the that's enemy why is prepared I'm all for that. You, you are. They enemy. are. They are. Your enemy is prepared to die. The motherfucker is training right now in the dark. Yeah, your enemy is prepared to die. So yeah, what are you? What are, right you gotta, death is freedom. That's what black African people got to understand. Death is freedom for us. For yeah. them, it's a rock. And yeah. For them, it's a black. And that's, that's a part of that's a part of our culture. That's what we taught in Africa. Death is not death the is end. Freedom. Yeah, that's yeah, not that's the why end. That's why in Egypt. They had mummies. Yes. They you, you, were yeah. weird death. Death yeah. was like, they literally had a whole science wait. out yeah. there around death and how to yeah. manipulate life. They couldn't wait. The huh? whole, yeah, the whole golden Kemet was to leave, meaning by death or transcendence, and never come back. Yeah. That was the whole goal. Leave, <laughs> never come back. That's why they party when they died. Them niggas was partying like shit. It was a party. But like I said, that might be t that might have went over a couple people's head though. You know what I mean? But because you know, everybody doesn't necessarily believe like I mean you. I'm on the same page as you. But you know, you got to do it. Like I said, if you want to hide something from a nigga, you put it in a book. Bingo. Yeah. But see, now it's no excuse because you got the internet. You ain't, you can watch a fucking YouTube will fucking educate your ass if you looking. Be looking for the right shit. It's not gonna fall in your lap. You gotta go looking for it. Bingo. Yeah, no, that's facts. You and know. you gotta be able to listen when some nigga's telling you some real shit and be like, hold on, that nigga, what? He might have been talking some real shit. Let me, let me go look up and see for myself what this nigga was saying. Or well, you know, that's holding yourself accountable. Bingo. You know I mean? that's, that's, that's the key to manhood right there. A nigga know when they hear some real shit or not, or a nigga talking bullshit. That's the key to manhood right there. Of course. Listening and learning, being a student, being a student. You can't get oh, better. Shit, you can't get better if you're not learning. <laughs> and the only way you learn shit, <laughs> is by experience, reading, or listening to a scholar and removing the personality from the message. If I tell you that it's hot outside, <laughs> but you know, I'm, but, but I'm drunk as hell. Oh, nigga, is it hot outside or not? It don't matter if I'm drunk. Nigga, is it hot? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> hey, 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 guess what? You still, y'all never answered my question. I did, but I said, I know, I, but, but I studied Elijah, bro. No, okay, you can tell me about him. He was a uh, one, 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 one wife having man, all his kids by one woman. So he, had, he had one wife. He had one wife, but he had kids out of wedlock. He had, he had kids out of uh, infidelity. Yes, and okay. and that's the white man again. You want to go there? If you want, we can keep going with that because that shit ain't come from us either. What monogamy? Oh, okay. It didn't go to Africa right now. Twenty twenty monogamy is no, not a no, is no, not no, an no, African no, no. is not a part of the African culture. I, well, never, bro, I, I, never, I never dispute that's anything not necessarily I, I believe true, bro. Bro, That's not necessarily true. First of all, Africa is a continent. Okay. And a queen, continent. The queen, queen means whore. Yes, yes queen Africa, means whore. Africa, Africa is a continent. Africa is a continent and queen is a European title. You don't even want yes. to use European titles. Queen for, means whore for real. We're speaking of <sighs> uh, English language. That means so you're, whatever, that's like whatever, your bottom bitch. That's what that means. Queen means bottom whatever, bitch. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> definitions, whatever definitions Europeans put on shit, you don't want to adopt because that's confusion off jump. Uh, now, as far as monogamy is concerned, back uh, um, historically, yeah. there were certain African nations that their kings 
and the royalty did not practice monogamy. They had multiple wives. But it wasn't just you just trying to bust a whole bunch of nuts. They took care of all of those women to create multiple lineages to yeah. build an empire. Build a nation. You, that? you ain't yeah, got to do that's that. What I, that's what I said. You can have as many yeah, women dude. as you can build. As many but women you as, you, about, that as you can build. Of course. Of course not. But, but that is that you could go out to Utah and they let them niggas do it all day. Niggas no, you can't. Let me tell you why, bro. Kids and all that shit. Brother, you're not about to do... No black person, no African in America is about to successfully... Oh, no. Hell no. Hell no. It's about to successfully do none of that because I'm going to tell you the main reason why. want your lineage to spread. I'm going to tell you the main reason why. Because all of us are victims of white supremacy, meaning we got mental pathology. So you or me or whoever, if I had $10 million and I'm trying to get five wives, I'm still pathological. So I can have five wives, but I'm passing on pathology. You see what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a it's a it's gonna be it's gonna be a cluster for me. You you're not gonna do it successfully and healthily help and healthy because we are too mentally screwed up. You see what I'm saying? We gotta re look. Uh, Shaharazad Ali said on national television, MSNBC, like eight years ago, she said black people, black people, black people in America need behavioral, behavioral cognitive therapy. That's what we need because our minds are warped. Warped. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, though, I'm high as shit, yo. Look at me, though. Hey, what you smoking, bud? Huh? What you smoking? Uh, pebble rock. Pebble rock. Oh, yeah. Hey, guess what? Hey, hey, my ass looks like that gorilla, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, 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 I'm drinking drink yeah. DC. That's about it. I, you yeah. know, but you, but you know me, I can't really handle my water. That shit make me paranoid, bud. What? Oh, no, 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 hey, no. I be paranoid sometimes too. I don't know how I keep on doing this shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You already know. When I be in the alley, buddy, yeah. I, you already know. I, I, already hit the, I already hit the J. Yeah. Hey, you know, know, I like getting down. You know, I like getting down. Hey, dude, I think I'm from California. I've been in DC my whole life, though. But I smoke like I'm from Cali, bro. I guess it in, bro. Hey, I probably hit like 10 while we been over here. For real. <laughs> I already yeah, got a number one room. We got people sit in this junk. <laughs> <Back south. laughs> I smell smoke, man. Y'all like and subscribe. I smell smoke podcast on YouTube. Like and subscribe. You like to I smell like smoke. Like smoke. Like smoke. smoke. Yeah. On top media, man. And look, yeah, but, man. Butter, butter is capping. Butter ain't no real pie head. Hey, look, I got him on the jump of this other live. Hey, hey, peace to y'all, man. I love y'all. Hey, butter ain't no real oh, pie head. He ain't no smoke. All right. <laughs>